your decision that you have you have made the decision. I gave you the advice. Your life would be way easier if you would play the piano or play the guitar. So why an, you, why an instrument? Out of all the skills you could as get. opposed to what like kung fu. Well, say like, is like it hot in here or my nuts? I, it's pretty warm. I can see the value of a piano, That's but I, I play clarinet and saxophone, and no, I, I feel like Brandon, there's nothing no. valuable well, about you that. You played clarinet and saxophone? Yeah. You're not why am I just <laughs> Why am I just finding this out? You, you know can, that? can you still do it? Uh, do we have a clarinet or a saxophone? Is, that might be a Matt, getting, Matt might uh, have a sax in his dude, office. It's just you hard. Got, no. It's like what kind of saxophone did you play? It takes like 20 seconds to suck that reed, man. Make it good. That's the worst part of it. What kind of saxophone did you play? Uh, alto. Tenor or uh, tenor's the cool one. So whenever Matt you plays see someone, alto as well, <clears throat> alto sax. Yeah, I'm just, you guys should bond over that. I just haven't played it since I was like eighth grade. Also, you can't bust out a sax or a clarinet at like a campfire or something like that. Not that you can bust out a piano. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> you get the, what's the one with the stupid straw? With the well, oboe? The, oboe, no. <laughs> the problem is you need something that you could play that you could sing at the same time. Yeah, guitar, guitar or whatever. Well, or even if you can't sing, I think like I just think your life's easier if you can play the piano. And like if, if you're at a party, someone sits down and starts playing the piano. It's like, no, oh, come on, asshole. Or if right, you, you yeah, have to yeah, be able yeah, to look yeah, cool too. Your yeah. face has to make like a good expression, or, not like a trumpet where you're <laughs> <laughs> like that's how everyone thinks of Dizzy Gillespie, right? It's like his cheeks mm -hmm. like shooting out with a trumpet in his mouth. Can't Is that just wait over for time? That screenshot. Mm. <laughs> but you can just like wait. inflate your cheeks. Could I do that every day and get my cheeks you so like I can stretch do, like, them? A, be like a chipmunk and just inflate them. And you can store food in there. Something blew my mind the other day, and I wish we could pull up the gift, but I tried to show it to Ashley and I couldn't find it again. This blew my fucking mind. Somebody had a puffer fish and they pulled it out of the water and it was puffed and then it de puffed, but it basically just opened its mouth and water shot oh, out. Oh, yeah, I saw it. And it just water and water, water came out. Of course it inflates with water, right? Of right. course, but. I never the, made I, had the the, I had the exact same reaction. Yeah. It was just seeing it like expel all the water. I was like, oh, they're filled with water, not air. And it's like, of course, that's the case. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I speaking of fish and something you don't think about, you know that really ugly fish where they call it like the blob fish or something? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That you know, they, they say it's like the ugliest fish in the ocean. That's not what it looks like. Yes. That it lives at such an extreme depth of the ocean that by the time it comes up to the surface, it's decompressed. So it's oh, like ew. it's practically exploded. So you're seeing like oh an exploded version of it. So it's like if you look it up, you can see what that fish actually looks like at depth, and it looks like a normal fish. So basically, any of one of those fish that you've seen, you're just <laughs> seeing Brian, a horrible Brian, exploded get version. In here. Brian is here oh with my musical. Oh my god! What do you Brian have? literally has two cases. This is Brian Beam? He is here with two oh. cases. Over there. And they are musical instruments. You might remember what do you Brian have? from. So I mean, CB. Do we have a handheld? They're gonna, they're gonna he's part. He's part of the hottest jazz trio, well, or jazz duo. Excuse me, duo. duo for relationship goals. Yeah, I've got a couple saxes here. I thought uh, Brandon, you know. do you have an unused reed? What do you mean uh, unused? What are you worried I don't about? Brian's on his reed. Come. <laughs> Let me see what I have in here. What? Look at that. He does. What's he worried about, here. Barb? I want to suck a brand on his new reed. Tenor reed. <laughs> What kind uh, of saxophone is that, Brian? Oh, it's a I have an alto and a tenor. Do you play alto? alto or do you he's yeah, an alto. tenor's a different scale. <laughs> yeah, what is okay. he, the asshole? Well, what is that? It, let's it looks see. like gum. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what shape this in alto is into. I want a popsicle. Did you hand out popsicles? What's going on over there? But uh, you want no, give an extra one. Give Bernie the reed. Actually, this. Th listen seriously. How much is a reed, Brian? Uh, two or three bucks. Two or three bucks. Matt had a reed in his saxophone in college, and I. Who might have been drinking? And one day I got. I'm good. I'm good. I got his saxophone out and was like, purr, 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 blowing on it or whatever. And I split the reed. I'm not kidding. He did not forgive me for probably two or three years. And I was like, what? I thought I, I thought I broke his saxophone because I split the reed. It was. I, and then I come to find out, it's like just something you replace and it costs five bucks. No, it's a commitment, man. You gotta. It's not just like like I'm. I'm not, I'm not gonna be as good as I could be. Cause I'm just sucking Here on we this go. thing. Here we go. Already. Already, Already it started. Well, did you expect him to be good at this, Gus? Yes. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear this. Oh I wanna god. hear I wanna hear like some sexy sax man. Oh, wow, that was good. I'm not sure how it's gonna work with that, but you can try it. We'll see. So I'm so excited right, right now. I, I, I kind of half said it as a joke. I didn't think we would actually anyone would actually have an instrument. I'm you gotta give me a couple more minutes. Yeah, we'll give you Brandon. We want you at your best. We are not gonna rush you. 
Do you want to get like really an internet tutorial? Why, why, why don't I do a, a read while uh, I'll do my uh, own read while you do that? So, uh, Allow me to suck on this read. So I want to say thanks to Maltesers for sponsoring this episode of the RT Podcast. Maltesers are now in the United States, and to celebrate, we're going to be playing a game of mini cornhole with some Maltesers to see who's a better cornhole player. I was going to play with Brandon, but he's a little preoccupied. So, Barbara, you want to play some mini cornhole with me? Sure. Um, so go and check out Maltesers on Instagram at instagram.com slash Maltesers and give them a follow. And I got some Maltesers. You want a Malteser bird? Uh, he can't. Oh no, you can't. I can't. Unfortunately, right now I can't because Just one of the things I can't have He's on a special is, diet. is sugar. So. Although, thank you for tempting me with the delicious candy that I love. Okay. Oh. Okay, Bernie, I'll eat one for you. Oh, stop. Ow. You're the worst. Thank you. I just want to hire somebody that could just like just insert this in my mouth back and forth. So I can Let me finish this, please, before you start saying gross things. All right. <laughs> Move the beer. Okay. That's I probably a good you. idea. And the fork that Bernie gave me before the show. Let's just do uh, a full of beer. We'll do five fork each. Fork or during the pre-show. Wait, you turn your so it's like actually there you go. So, wait, 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 wait. Rules first. We're just, we're just gonna do five each. Five each. Whoever gets in the hole. The, whoever gets the most in the hole. Got okay, it. Okay, you go first. That was close. That was pretty good. But that was terrible. Barbara. That was probably one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Man. Gus, <laughs> going, one that you said was good. Yeah. It's because the, the, the chocolate melts a little stuck on my hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, uh, my we're angle. gonna we pick yet another game up. Oh. My angle is oh. oh so close. Oh. So far, Barbara's got the closest. Damn it. So unless you get one in, oh, Barbara's that was five. So let's keep going until till whoever gets one. We're, there's gonna be Maltesers all over the set. Like you say, like it's a bad thing. Crap. All right. Where did you get these little things, by the way? Yeah, where did Broadcast you get Broadcast giving them to me. Oh! F my angle is so Why do we pick- Oh! oh. Hey, Gus wins. Why do we pick athletic games when we are the F least athletic people on the planet? Big round of applause to Gus. Anyway, thanks to Maltesers uh, for sponsoring us, and uh, this is- I wouldn't call this athletic. Yeah, this I'm, like, I'm thinking- This is Jack-level athletic. I'm sitting here thinking, what's the game you're good at? I know what Barbara's gonna say she's Pub good at. I'm way better than Barbara at this game, Give and me. she's gonna try to say she's better than what me. Better. What's a game we play in bars? I feel like I've been in a bar with you in forever, but like when we Shuffle go out, board? nope. What's the other game we play? Air hockey. I'm way better than you at it. What's a good bar game that you play? That you PUBG. Oh, God. PUBG. Can get out of here. You can't oh. say a video uh, game. Uh, what are you uh, good at? Foosball. You're good at foosball. Yeah. I hate foosball. What game are you talking about? Oh, good. You don't remember? So I'm the best person that I know in the game where you take the ring on the string and you try to hook it. Mm -mm. Okay. See, you mm -mm. didn't even remember, Barbara. Mm. I don't. You, you didn't even remember the thing. Because now I'm so good at it that I just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people who don't live in Austin know what that game is. Am I actually I learned that in the Bahamas of all places, is it a, oh. and I was super excited to see it in Austin. I was gonna say, is it an American what game? But what? the game we're describing. Sure. Is there's a little hook on the wall, like just a normal like little eye hook, like a metal hook. Yeah, metal hook, not an eye hook, but a, yeah, a little metal hook. And then you have a string, a very long string with a ring, a metal ring attached to it. And you stand back, probably like ten feet, twelve feet. Oh no, like five feet, five six feet. Is that yeah? Maybe so. And yeah. then you swing it like a pendulum. And you try to hook it on the hook. That seems impossible to me. Very seems simple game. Super impossible. I'm so good at it. Barbara will admit I'm the best person that she knows at playing this game. He's not. He's not. He's actually uh, shit at it. I, I personally I personally like it because what it's I have an advantage because when I'm playing I'm sitting there playing and Barbara takes turns with me but in between every time Barbara takes a turn some dude comes up and hits on her <laughs> so uh. it's like this constant distraction. I was actually gonna I say think... the last time I was at a bar that had this game I was like doing it and like I would like hook it and then I would do it some more and of course a guy would come along every time I'm like not getting it on and yeah. he goes. You want me to help you with that? Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't actually. It, and he'd like best. come up behind me. He'd be like, So, what you want to do oh, is just God. sit. Yeah. And I'm like, Fuck. Let me oh, mansplain the game to you. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Brandon is uh, is ready here. Oh, Brandon, what song are you doing? Look at his face. I was just going to do confident scale. face. I guess I can do. Three, two, one, two, don't tell us. Let it, let us try to guess. Hot cross buttons. I need to try to get let the music go. flow I, through you. I hope the saxophone works. Oh, okay. Why wouldn't it work? Because we're Okay. Dude, I'll take it. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that 
That was way better than I was expecting, Brandon. Brandon, I would have fucked you so bad, bad right now. I love the pretty saxophone from ninth grade. It's, it's sad that you can remember that. Or eighth grade. <laughs> there was some applause back there. Good job, Brandon, Brandon, I'm so impressed. That was good, man. You busted that out. It's I mean, it's like muscle memory, I guess. It's it really. It's just all the. It's all the read. You just got to get the right amount of suck. <laughs> Brent, or Brian, do you want to? Do you want to? Regale us with something real. Uh, let me put my tenor together. All right, he's getting another another sax together. This is great. We got fucking a musical episode of the Rishi podcast. What can you play? Set up. Can we do? Do we should do have shared airplane? So yeah, I'm gonna thumbs up. Okay. Do you have? Do you guys have my my feed right now? Oh God, please no. Can we see it? Don't do it. I think I see a thumbs up in the control room. Oh, is that Brando? Your first chair. Me with a saxophone. Look at you. You got a cummerbund on and everything. Yeah, I was first. I'm not proud of it. Yeah, you well, we you be. had the photo readily available. No, no, no. I texted my mom and she sent it. She took a photo of it. That's cute. Oh, uh, it's when I had the mustache and I look. Oh, thank God you can't see it. I oh, could see great. The Good thing I didn't have the orange highlights. <laughs> oh, did you have frosted tips? Uh, I tried to. I tried to be cool and do red. It just came out orange. And I was already a nerd. You got some frosted tips now? Do I really? Well, they're like gray. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, she she's not kidding. She good. says she's just kidding, I'm but just kidding. it's totally there. We all see it. Okay. Are you paranoid at all about going gray? No, I'm not. You know, whatever happens, Mine's happens. Accelerated. As, as long as I, I have my hair, I'm not going to lose it because I have so much of it. I'm all right. I, are you ready, That's how Brian? I feel, Brando. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got, yeah. It's uh, like at this point, I can't really complain. Oh, about he's got the wig. Going gray. Brian's going like, to belt it out. I have my hair. We? We're right here. Oh, book. He busted out the relationship goals wig too. Who is that man? Uh, Get up here, right in the light. <laughs> God, that's Whee! so attractive. Yeah. It, it sounded about, it sound, they both sounded about the same, oh, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Thanks, it's, man. Just, it's so attractive to watch somebody do something like that, isn't it? It's just like, what is it? Absolutely, yeah. What is it? Are you turned on? Were you turned on when I was playing? A little bit. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, when the people do well. How about what, that? What about like when people watch me play PUBG? Is it the same? What? So, sorry, I give you $20. I have Canadian money. For I me? A drink and I pay. Yeah, I get a drink. Are you drinking? You don't drink though. No, I don't drink. There's some milk there. You can't. Don't open that though. Do we have any non? Jeff wants to know if we have non booze. There's, there's no non booze there. I don't even know. There's any. I think I'm actually. I think I'm actually into you into the off topic podcast for like thirty bucks. Do you remember Mermaids? The movie. No, 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 that shitty little sketchy business that was next to T&I. Oh, yeah, 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 where you could go like swim with mermaids or they'd give you hand jobs or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Were they yeah. actually mermaids? No, mermaids don't exist, but they were women in mermaid costumes. That's they what were I'm in saying. the costume, though, right? So I would did, assume so. How did they fuck? Well, you can take a costume off. It's just like, <laughs> but, they, but it ruins the illusion. It ruins the illusion. Are you one of those Jewish people that only fucks through a sheet, or...? Do yes, you, you are. Okay. Well, somebody has a Nobel Prize in ichthyology. <laughs> I believe the way a fish fucks is it just lays down some eggs, and then Jeff would come along and just come on top of the eggs. That's what. Oh, that's yeah. the way that works. That's hot. I like that. Oh, that's how. I mean, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I was gonna come get a drink, but that, never mind. Uh, Wait, you, there's, there's you, no you, football game, huh? So you were making fun of me because I had to go to this thing. We we're gonna get our ass kicked, and we almost fucking won that. Yeah, game. It was yeah, amazing. but you didn't. You there, missed your flight, didn't you? No, no. I, I, I actually got the. I, I almost did it, but I had. To, I, unfortunately, I saw my friend Marty uh, from college. I hadn't mm -hmm. seen him in like fifteen years. I had to literally like run out as soon as the game was over. And I, I, I I'm not kidding. I ran out of the stadium. It just ran for six blocks until I thought I could catch an Uber and then did that. Because the game went to double overtime, so you had no idea when it was going to end. No, and I had a flight at midnight. Damn. So, yeah. What was the result back. of that game? Uh, USC won mm. on some bullshit. That game, yeah, that game wrapped up at like 10 p.m. Pacific time? Yeah, I was, I was booking it, dude. I was <laughs> you booking getting it. out of here? Do you regret it, Jeff, not going? You could have gone. No. I wasn't invited. You didn't invite me. That's true. I didn't invite him. Okay, good. I, was, I, I wasn't point. invited either. So All right, I, I was invited. sitting in the coach's family section. You're not family. Coach family friendly. What are you doing? Just give that to someone off camera. I'll take it. I need Have you mics. ever been in broadcast before? Oh my god. Jeff, it was nice that also you. works, Jeff. Don't walk backwards into Jeff the Jeff Ramsey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> see, you, see you in 10 years on the podcast. See you in another 200 Bye. episodes. Why are you here so late? I value our friendship. I had a meeting. You have a meeting? What kind of meeting you got? A fucking boring one. Look at Jeff bragging about meetings. Uh, seeing Jeff made me think about this like, um, because the internet was not as accessible. 
it was harder to get to. There was like maybe you know people have like one computer at in their house. It's like in the living room or something. I would watch movies. Yeah, just because they had nude scenes. Yeah, just just Same. to see maybe some boobs for like. Five seconds. You say boobs funny. <laughs> how do I, how, like you say you say it like a kid. Yeah. Like who's excited boobs. about it. boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how should I say them? Uh-huh. Boobs. <laughs> oh, God, that's the brown note. John almost took. <laughs> that was hilarious. How, <laughs> was a little how kid should I say them? Trying to say boobs like yeah. an adult. <laughs> boobs. Um, Wait, how do you say boobs? I don't know, but I don't say it like you. You just say it casual. Like it's it's not very casual when you say it. It's like, yeah, you make it sound like you're you're worried that your mom's around the corner and is gonna hear you talking about <laughs> boobs. I feel like that was a big stop to think to make myself not pee. You know, like there's a whole process behind it for me. What? Yeah, to you make yourself not pee or to make yourself when you're pee? pooping not pee. You're saying when you poop, uh-huh. you have to think to not pee. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm capable. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't think it's ca- that's possible. No, you, you can't. I think you can only have so many things come out at once. What? Well, I, have you ever have you ever been peeing and then sneezed? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been shitting and sneezed, and it that stops. hurts. It stops. <laughs> it's like a chew. It's like it won't. Do you think sneezing is the same as taking a dump? No, I have totally <laughs> sneezed and pissed. It's yeah, yeah, time. you can do that. <laughs> What's the limit? I, I I think oh or like have you ever also vomit? I think things with your mouth, things from your head cannot also come out of your ass. And, and I like, no, I like, had a buddy like, who was vomiting into his toilet and then he started to shit while yeah, he was but not at the same time. It's like one one in one out. Things type. out of your head cannot come out of your ass. Like you can't you 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 can't be expelling things from both your face and your butt. I wonder if it's because your body like it doesn't want to allow like an airway from like one point to the other. <laughs> it's got to. Maintain equilibrium. I know. I mean, but like you can't do it. I, I want to prove you wrong, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm, though. I'm almost a hundred percent positive that I have at the very least sneezed while I am going pee. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not saying. But there's you an can't interruption in the stream while you pee, but it stops. See, now I have to do this to actually prove it wrong. So we need to go get pepper and take it, it to the bathroom because your body goes <laughs> and while you sneeze and it stops. It. You're saying you haven't been able to poop and pee at the same time? No, I, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. I'm just talking about sneezing or vomiting. It stops the other one. So you can either only you so what you're saying is that the body only allows either head functions or or pelvic functions yes. happen. Yes. Can't the never the two shall meet. Yes. That's, yes. That's my my that's what my studies have shown. Gus, are you are you looking this up? I will now. Can <laughs> you vomit and poop at the same time? It auto completed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Google. Um, yes, you can. No. Well, maybe but you on- can't. Only if you're sick. Only if you're sick. I think that's what that's what I'm seeing is that it's easier for it to happen at that time, like in a weakened state. You have to be really damn sick. As in, it's not a normal bowel movement. Don't tell me what's normal. I can be normal any way I want. It seems like it. If my normal is vomiting and pooping at the same time, don't judge me. All right, there's a... Okay. Yeah, don't go too, I, I, too far started, down that hole. I started scrolling too far. You went, you went image search? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going <laughs> to click on images for that. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 I wish... I mean, someday I should go back and, like, chronicle all the old podcasts and highlight all of the weird Google searches I did. While, uh, while oh, on camera. I love, like, what this job does to, like, your Google search history. Like, uh... Or your targeted ads. Yeah, targeted yeah. ads and everything. Um, and from my desk, where I'm at right now, I can see the monitors of two of my designers while they're working all day. And one of them is Tobin, who is one of our illustrators. And he's constantly looking up reference material for when he's drawing. It's a very common thing when illustrators, they have one monitor, they have their, their you know, their uh, pen, their, their, their screen they draw on, and then uh, they have, you know, reference stuff. And the stuff that I've seen him go up, like, excessively looking, because he, he does it for, like, you know, the posters that he's been drawing. I'm like, we are just fucking over your entire Google search history, because I know he's, he's, like, just, it's all in the same account. Like what? What is he looking? Like, give us an example. Well, like he's he he had. Um, there's a poster coming up that we haven't uh, released yet, but it does involve. Uh, he had to draw some some big muscles, and he had. It's of me. He had for <laughs> days just every image you could think of on Google image search of like 
bodybuilders mm. and and naked dudes, half naked dudes that were like showing off every like an anatomically correct big mm. muscles. And so his it was just bodybuilders like for a week. It's, I'm it's, Bernie. It's, and I'm Gus. Hi, Morla. Good to see you again. Who's Morla? I think the last time people saw you would have been on our E3 stream mm -hmm. that we did for YouTube That's at right. the Elect. Electronic Entertainment Expo, right? Those are the three. Good, three Good job. What is it? Is it is I, <laughs> I, right? so. I don't know. Electronic Entertainment Expo. E3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sounds Marla was, uh, she was in town, so I thought, oh, it'd be great to have her join us on the podcast. Yay. Although we should preface this by saying uh, Marla has to leave early. So she'll be out. She'll, after what, the first Flights half hour? And such. Yeah, yeah. The, the life of, a, of an actor. Will you, you, you keep an eye on the time for me? Uh, there it is right there. Oh, there. <laughs> Don't trust me to do anything <laughs> except for read Reddit on my oh, laptop. That's I'm, all I can do. I'm really glad that you're here, Morla. Thank you. Uh, I'm really glad because I got screwed over by someone in this company. Oh boy, this uh, is yeah. What happened? I'm not putting them on blast. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is there anybody on the set right now? No. So I came in okay, and said, hey, Morla, tell the story. I, I said, Morla's here. Uh -huh. How does she sit in on the first part of the podcast? And Gus, who is normally a curmudgeon and does not deal with change well, mm -hmm. said, that would be lovely. I'm paraphrasing <gasps> here. He said, that would be lovely because we only have three people on the podcast tonight because Put him on blast. Chris Damaris fucked me over. Oh, boy. <gasps> here we go. He scheduled a meeting and invited Every single person who's on the podcast. Not just a meeting, but a table read for a new script, yes. which everyone, of course, wants to go to. He invited everyone, everyone, used, uh, everyone here. He invited Patrick as well. Why, why do you say that? Patrick, you just got like the head shake, like the he just, he just, he just found out. Oh, okay. That they're still inviting people like right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Wait, I that Patrick's going to be here? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. I'm going to be here. I literally got what an alert right there. <laughs> fucking terrible time to schedule it. That was like, he initially, he had sent me the invite and I, he sent me the invite last Monday right after he got off the podcast. And I wrote, listen, I can't make it doing the podcast. He's like, okay, don't worry about it. And then I started trying to figure out who's going to be here on Monday. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find a single person. Yeah, I should be there for it as well, but I got the invite. And I was like, I can't. I got to I gotta go for the podcast if I'm in town. That's what I do on Monday nights. Right. Everybody's, That's my job. It's your job. I mean, what am I going to do? A brand new feature length script? Or am I going to attend podcast number 460 billion? What is this one? What are we on? Oh, uh, God. What is it? Like 455 maybe? I don't know but this will be an eventful one. People will come back to this one on a regular basis. <laughs> so I do feel a little bit bad about missing it. I do. I wanted to do it. I wanted to though, go. Uh, somebody else was totally available. John was totally available. I know. John was available. When was that? Why was I? What? You were not invited to this thing. I got invited today. Oh, did you? Yeah. After I don't think I don't think live action likes me. What? Go ahead. I don't think I don't think they really like me very much. I'm I'm kind of the last on their list of any like invited to do anything with them or like to try out for any of their projects or anything like that. I think I've like spurned other than. MDB, which Blaine was nice enough after three seasons to invite me. Uh, I don't think any of them like me. So more like twenty four six. You need a platypus, I think. What's that? Four sixty. <laughs> four sixty. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. I'm trying to think of like how somebody can make a joke out of that. <laughs> it number. makes it makes it <laughs> no idea. So Aww. wait, one more. No. There you know it doesn't talk out of its mouth, right? Huh? Is talking out of anus? He's, he's putting the mouth up to the microphone <laughs> like the sound comes out from there. That's, that's where the way... noise comes from. <laughs> the noise okay. from the that's where, that's where some noises I know, come but that's from. normal that's not where all noises come Shut from. Up. <laughs> that's the way a platypi works. So, Morla, I'm going to let yes. you in a little behind the scenes of our company here. Uh -huh. There's a lot of inclusion issues for people at the company. I'm, I'm sensing this. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a sense of this. Is that a performer yeah. thing? Do you think, like, for people who work wait, in Wait, wait, wait. Are you suggesting that performers might have, like, low self-esteem and <laughs> trust issues and be trying to vie for attention constantly? You're a couple steps ahead of me, but I was headed in that direction, <laughs> I believe. That's yeah. not true, right? Uh, uh, you want me to speak for all actors? <laughs> yes. all the ones Please that, do. Uh, uh, this will go on the permanent record. No, we're record. completely well-adjusted people who are yeah. totally fine with all kinds of scenarios all the time. Did the, uh, did the, <laughs> did the SAG strike with video game companies? Did that affect you in what you do? Because you've been in a number of different video game franchises as a voice actor? Uh, I think everyone, everyone in, who works in video games, everyone who voices video games was affected by it. There was just, um, there was, it just wasn't happening. Right. So that's how strikes it, work. Yeah, that's, that is. <laughs> yes. I wasn't sure before, and I'm like, yeah. I can still work on them. No? <laughs> no? Oh, oh, oh. oh. So oh I, I thought it was strike. three strikes yeah. that I'm out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's the way that works. Nice. But yeah, it's but, over. It's no, over. But I really, it, yeah. it is, and there's, uh, for Battlegrounds, it's this. They have melee weapons. Mm -hmm. You can have a pistol. You can have a, a gun. Pistol's not a melee weapon. No, no. I'm saying all he's, the things you can he's have. He's listing all the stuff. You said you have a melee pistol and a gun. What? He said you have a melee weapon. You melee have a pistol. Weapon, you have pistol, a gun. Okay. There's commas okay. in there. Not, <laughs> it's a list. Not melee weapon. Continue. Somebody's Colon. mad about not being invited. Yeah, to yeah. gun. I got invited eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Term that means like you know premeditated and. 
deliberate, you know. I guess manslaughter makes sense, but it's still, it's uh, the charge she faces up to 10 years in prison and a uh, fine of up to $20,000. I mean, if you lose 10 years of your life, the $20,000 fine is not, like, are you considering that? I mean... That's weird. Wait, is that a you can choose? No, you can't <laughs> choose. Yeah, you want I ten years just for twenty grand. You phrased it that way, as in like <laughs> I said, of, and a fine of up to twenty thousand. Oh, oh, so th on top on of top losing of that much time in your life, that's also. not really. and a melee weapon. And a melee weapon. <laughs> right. You just stop it. You stop it. <laughs> you're not understanding my list today. <laughs> you're, 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 my list are getting lost in interpretation over there. Punctuation you, is, you know not what? Being, is not translating well. You got me riled up because of how you said hi to me before the podcast. <gasps> I did. Oh, that was a fucked up thing to do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? That's not that fucked up. What'd you do, Bernie? Okay, so here. Let me <laughs> take my chewed up gum off of my wallet here. Stop it. So I have a wallet here, and it's a fine leather wallet. Um, I enjoy it. It serves me well. It has a little gum on it. <laughs> 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 and uh, <laughs> and uh, I had my little leather wallet here, and I pulled it out of my pocket. And I'll do it towards the camera here. I just pulled it out of my pocket, and I threw it towards John's face. But when I threw it, I said, metal. And I threw it in his face like that. And so when he said the word metal, <laughs> it just locked in his head that I was throwing a piece of metal. Yeah, because I was like, I wasn't fully like focused on your hand throw some at me. In fact, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna compliment your hat as you were walking up. You're gonna compliment this hat? I was getting ready to compliment your look, and I was looking at your head, and then you threw like some sort of dark object at me and yelled the word metal, <laughs> and it went right at my head. It was panic, pure why, panic. Why were you saying metal? Because he's he an was, asshole. He was so metal. No, because I want him to think it was a metal he thing. He knew that he was triggering that, that part of my brain. Right. right. This is metal. Totally <laughs> intended. Through it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. No. And it's, you should have been around because as a sound designer, you could have heard the sound of pure panic come out of John. <laughs> I think it sounded like this. Gear. <laughs> 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 I was happy that it worked perfectly though. It's like I didn't you plan were, it uh, or anything. I just walked up and said metal. <laughs> you were making fun of me screaming we were playing PUBG this weekend because <laughs> at one point we were approaching another team in a in a uh, in, that was in a building and we were actively firing on them and at one point uh, my game froze but everything kept going on still. Yeah. And so there was the, the battles happening, so my guy was just still walking forward. <laughs> and then like, and so I was like literally just walking towards the gunfight, <laughs> not in control. I couldn't see it, but yeah. I could still hear you guys talking over Discord. And then when it came back, I was standing in front of a sedan from the game, Dacia, that just exploded in front of me. So yeah. literally I came back and, and there was an explosion in front of me and I screamed and you made fun of me you for screaming. Yeah. You pretty what much screamed the, the whole time. For that? I'm not doing that, okay? We're not playing this game. I, I don't want to play Gus, how are like you it. doing? I actually like this. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, can I tell you something? Yeah. So I play PUBG with John on a fairly regular basis. Mm -hmm. And then at this particular moment, on the, at this match, uh, we were playing on his Twitch stream because John has a Twitch channel. What's your Twitch channel? You want to tell people? It's, it's Twitch.tv. Go fuck yourself, Bernie. Hey, come on. Tell <laughs> you, you have a chance for it was promotion. an opportunity for promotion. God, screwed that up. Millions of people. So, <laughs> so John uh, was streaming at that point in time. On Twitch.tv slash John Reisinger. There it is. <laughs> there it is. John suddenly realizing the opportunity. <laughs> so I had to, though. And how often do I throw that bone out there? Know. Ever. You, but see, but you do it right now knowing I'm upset at you. And so you know that well, I'm about to make fun nice. of you because I'm gonna say the nice. Twitch John was far different than regular casual PUBG John. Yeah, like he wouldn't. You were you were kind of like you had a different tone about you. What's my tone? I don't know how to say. I can tell you were broadcasting because you were just like you were a lot more talkative, obviously because you're entertaining a lot of people that are watching. Yeah. You want to come jump in? No, she said no. <laughs> oh, are you wrapped? See through top. No, first Gus, we got to let her on. <laughs> First she said no, then she said million dollars butt. I said no because you sing after this. All right, well, Gus won't here. let Barbara on the podcast and see through top. Oh, now she's changing shirts. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> wow, that was fast. You got a backpack on? I do. I just can't, oh, I also have a crease in my hair. What's a crease? What do you mean a crease in your hair? I was just filming. She was just filming. You were she filming? Said. I had a ponytail in, so. Oh, I gotcha. No, we can hear you because you're off mic. Oh. What you eating? Heart healthy mix. What's that? What's in that? <laughs> I don't gonna, trust you. That's a good call. Hi, everyone. That's a good call. Hi, John. Hi. But what were we talking oh, yeah. about before Barbara? Oh, uh, you got something coming up? Interrupted. Uh, oh, I have two things coming up in the month of October. I just did a speech at the University of Texas, my alma mater. Did. We had an eclipse, two hurricanes, forest fires, and a nuclear explosion. And 
Earthquakes, right? And earthquakes and the earthquakes. That was literally, I think, two and a half weeks all of those things happened. Aren't there That's some nuts? Like, um, what's it called? Uh, people who theorize, conspiracy theorists, who believe like the eclipse brought just bad everything. Well, there's usually a sign of a, a bad omen. Yeah. But the thing about eclipses is they don't. I mean, like Mexico, I don't think was even affected by the eclipse. Like, um, could they see any percentage of the eclipse? No. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that it. The happened. eclipse. <laughs> Wait, are you saying? It's just, it's, are you saying the bad things brought by eclipse only affect those who see the eclipse? Otherwise, we okay. just have bad yeah. things all eclipses the time. Eclipses happen over the ocean. Like, okay. I mean, I'm just clarifying. Yeah. You know, this myth. Sun's fine. Sun was part of the eclipse. And sun's it was, fine. The sun is fine. Moon, the Do moon you know is that? Fine. <laughs> I don't know that. Have I, you checked on it? I the never call The second the sun anymore, is not John. fine, we'll know because we'll be dead. No, no. we'll know about eight minutes the second, later. Yeah, when the, we'll have we'll a delay. We'll know about 480 seconds later, yeah. we'll know. Yeah. I should also point out, earthquake, there was the fire in the northwest, there was two hurricanes, there was a nuclear explosion, and also John was not invited to the read-through for the new script. That's the other bad uh. thing that happened. <laughs> I'm going to hide things <laughs> in your house. Probably the eclipse, gone. John. I'm going to hide things. <laughs> if, if, it's funny because I'm reading for like seven different parts in that script. Are you? Brag about it. I mean. Because you're missing it right now if that's the case. No, it starts no, it's, at, it comes it, up soon. It, it, I need to leave like right when the podcast ends. Oh. It starts at 630. But I like I guess they wrote a lot of women into this thing, but they don't have enough women to read the part. Yeah, there's a lot of women in this yeah. thing. Yeah. So there's like I have like seven parts that I'm reading for it. Brag. I've, so, I've been Jesus. called pretty feminine. You want to come take one? <laughs> That's finally coming in handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time, John's like, "Hey, I, you know, it, it turns out a lot of people say that I'm super feminine." Yeah. I think there's a girl named Peggy who has a line or two. If you'd like that, I could be a Peggy. She gets pegged. Sorry. <laughs> I could get pegged. <laughs> I could get pegged if I want to. You can, John. You can. Don't yes. Put me in a box. I'm not putting you in any box. I'm not. No. You've really. You I hate you? Chris Damaris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you swipe right or left on Chris Damaris? Oh, I, I also, would swipe I also super left. I found out why they scheduled it tonight, by the way. Why? Although I kind of don't want to tell you because I like this Chris hate train. It's because of Matt's schedule. Yeah, that's bullshit. I'm going to pull up his, I'm gonna pull up Matt's calendar right <laughs> now. He can do that. Yeah. Matt had a birthday this weekend. Happy birthday, Matt. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. He's, he's still going. So Bethany said... Oh, yeah. So, so she swipe? said, um, she says, so if you find me, you have to swipe uh, uh, right on me. And I was like, okay, if I find you, I'll do that. And like a couple hey, weeks went by. Matt's available at the same time tomorrow, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. In fact, Matt's really available Wednesday after, well, I won't say, but yeah. Yeah, but some of us are at New York Comic Con. Maybe that's why. What Tinder is, though. I imagine it's more than what John has because you're a guy. Because you're a guy. <laughs> Damn, man. He's fucking. It's the shit What's, on John. What, is this podcast. real? What's yeah. wrong with us, Bernie? That is unbelievable. What's wrong with us? We're just a dime a dozen. We're guys. That's no, no, we're... no. What's wrong with you and me here? What's going on? Oh, you think we have a problem? He's jealous. You're I literally Tinder said it's because you're a guy and you use Tinder. I'm not going to say it to Gus because Gus doesn't use Tinder. Gus, That's Gus. why I brought it up. I'm not insulting you, you Gus, dumb prick. Gus doesn't use Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> but yeah, so you could... Can... <laughs> defeated my own purpose. <laughs> you go in and you could see them and you could swipe from inside the screen. <laughs> You've lost them, Barbara. I know. I know sorry. I'm trying They're to gone. explain it. <laughs> sorry. Oh. So you could just swipe. Being a wingman. You're actually a great matchmaker slash wingman. Yeah, listen, here's what. It's all karma. If I ever end up single again, not that I would. If I ever end up single <laughs> again, <laughs> then it all will come back and I'll have a, like this like squadron Plethora. of wingmen who help me. I'd help you. I'd help you I'd too. Help, I would love to be your wingman. It's just, I'm an easy sell. You, I love yeah. the way. Here's Dork the thing. with a microphone in front of him. <laughs> Bernie great. is the uh, best person. We your hair earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you are the best person at talking me up. Like, oh, yeah. if you introduce me to someone, I'm like, I feel so good about myself you're in that just, moment. You're so, yeah, but you're easy though. Yeah. Well, yeah, but damn, I, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just what I say. Kidding. This is Barbara. She's easy. <laughs> no, I. My, one of the things I love to do is uh, make email introductions. I don't have as much time as I used to before, but I used to write these like people are like, hey, this is someone. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that because you don't have as much time as you used to, you use uh, a a application in order to expedite a process for yourself? What do you mean email? I'm saying oh, in okay, email. Okay. Before I had more no, no, time. So instead of being able to like go and actually hook up people in person, use email to help this. this. Dude, are you coming at me? Because yes, I'm I, coming at you because you fucking I, said ten. Tinder is is stupid, and then you just go to bars I and do it I literally said, John, you woke me up about something on Tinder. Then you, I don't know why I'm angry anymore. I don't know, you ruined a moment that we had, <laughs> now we're back to square one. 
fucking asshole. Go on Tinder and get zero likes. What do I care? <laughs> <laughs> I have 99 plus. Yeah, 99 plus. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't tell me what the number is. Because I have gold, that. so I could actually. Also, gold is not $5 a year. Why don't you it's get gold? $5, it's $5 a month. It's $30 yeah. a month. That's like I one just, drink. I it's four. $4.99 a month. It's what I just read. $4.99 a month. I looked it up. I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm looking spending... at the app right now, and it says thirty dollars a month if you do month. Oh, month. if you're if you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I am not spending that much a month. I think it's if you. It's like a one-time payment of thirty. She has it Tinder says mold. right here. <laughs> it says right here. Tinder mold. <laughs> well, that's, that's Tinder plus. There's then there's yeah, gold. Tinder. Where's gold? Blackish gold. green. <laughs> Where's gold? Get Tinder gold. Okay, so Tinder gold is twelve fifty a month if you pay for twelve months. Hey. hey, it's the hey. uh, Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Audible, Blue Apron, and Casper. I'm Gus. <laughs> oh, I'm Gavin! I'm Barbara. I'm Bernie. <laughs> and I'm Gus. <laughs> it almost worked. I think they had a little bit of transition. Okay. Did, no, no, they, we, did, we, we, they, they did the right through. thing. Barbara fucked it up. We, we didn't practice. I fucked it up? Yeah, we were going to go through one time, and then we were going to go back the other time. I didn't and hear there that. And there was going to be a... Wait, little Gavin. Coming in Coffee late. everywhere. Gavin, who has been absent for oh. quite a few podcasts. Because he's been living in the desert. Hi, Gavin. Hi. You, I smell, you smell like something. Much. It's coffee. It's because he spilled coffee spilled everywhere coffee? as he was running in. Just what a nightmare. Spilled how on our table. How was I late? It's because that's a clock right there and the time. <laughs> It, it How was I late? It's a linear fashion. <laughs> hey, everything was worked out. I don't know what happened. What were you doing right before this? Oh, I had a meeting with Will. Will Hyde? Will was like, bah, bah, bah. I don't oh. want to make you late for the podcast. Oh, fuck that guy. He made you late? Fire him. He said it while saying, I don't want to make you late. Yeah, why and he made you, you late. Think if he hadn't said left, that, though? that's how close you were. Why didn't what? Why couldn't you have just left? That's rude. Yeah. Not just 1 a.m. in the middle of a... It's not rude. It's a power play. It's a power know. move. Well, it, to be fair, I ran between there and here. I just didn't run fast enough. Making, that is British run. properness. So Ellie's like that too, where she won't cause a ruckus. But what's great about her, she saves all that up for like when something goes wrong for me. And she can be aggressive on my behalf. Not oh. to me. Oh, she, oh, so good. far. I, was, I thought you were going to say she takes it out on you. No. Has she ever fired back at you? Let me think about that. Probably over something. One more time. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, scary! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That was waiting for that. Here it is. There you go. Oh. That's what. That's what it is. Right. I was hoping that was gonna be all queued up. Gavin, I haven't seen you in over a month. I haven't seen you in a while either. What Look have you been that. doing, young Gavin Free? Out in LA, and do whatever the fuck they want to in the privacy of their own home. And whatever the fuck. I really do. I mean, I mean that. I was the, anything the totally, at all. Tell a joke. Yeah, if it doesn't hurt anybody else, what do I care what they like do? Like eat a dead body. Uh, it yeah. depends how the body died. No, you can't eat a dead body. That's there you go. I knew that'd be That's something. the right answer. There you go. You're coming around. <laughs> Depends how the body died. <laughs> if it died of natural causes, um, you know, I'd say. If it was a willing participant and it was into it? No, I'd say if what you're doing doesn't hurt anybody else, then yes. And whether or not your dead body constitutes you being hurt, it is your body. Jizzing on a bag of kittens. That's, that's animals. You're talking about that hurts kittens. I, Anything does, else you want to reveal about your brain? Them? Or is it just weird and cruel? No, it's fucking terrible. I have so many questions. That's so I'm trying to think of something really awful that wouldn't hurt anyone. It hurts the kittens. Does it hurt though? a kitten? It does. It's not right. I feel That's like right. it's not right morally. I but feel like the you... kittens being in a bag hurts them more than that. Well, the bag is more of just like a nice little basket just to keep them all contained. But are they so covered the... from the jizz or is the jizz the going jizz onto just them? like streaked across a few of them. <laughs> they can clean each I other, right? I would say that that's wrong. Yet yeah, not harmful for the kitten because one of the if it kittens... happens accidentally. It's not harmful. Like the, the cat will get over it, but the cat won't get over it if you, if you bought it? a bag of kittens. I think I won that argument. It's just over there going. <laughs> I think I won the argument. <laughs> oh, about what? The, you, you... The, it's not fine just because you do it in your own home. I say if it doesn't hurt anybody. I think it hurts the cats. If you're why does jizz hurt a cat? <laughs> it gets sticky. I assume the other one would just lick it off and be like, "Look, look." <laughs> <laughs> this guy didn't eat enough pineapple. I would like to amend my previous statement. Gavin is not allowed to do anything in the privacy <laughs> of his own home. Right, but you're right. A cat licks its own butthole. Yeah. What does it care? Like it I had a cat. Wouldn't. I had a cat in college that would eat condoms out of the trash, and that was horrifying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was horrifying, Barbara. It was horrifying. I should have wanted to do like, like, Half the condom would come out. Ask. You'd have to step on the condom and like let the cat walk away while the rest of it like pulled out of its butt. <laughs> Wait. What, what, what was said? I missed this. So I learned to not put the condoms <laughs> anywhere in a place where the what cat could get them. the condoms? What happened? I missed what happened in between. Why is he gagging? 
Because my I had a cat in college that would eat condoms out of the trash. Why is he gagging then? Because he described what you'd have to do when the cat started pooping them. Because it's eating a condom out of the trash. Yeah, it's, it's fucking huge. gross. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why he's gagging. I'm not throwing away like unused condoms. They're no, used. I know. What makes what? You don't think I should gag over a drippy, cummy Johnny coming out of a cat? Johnny, I no. think what's terrible is what? when it's two in the morning. Why and are you so <laughs> desensitized to jizz? <laughs> why are you so desensitized? No, she was upset about the kittens. <laughs> I was. She has a bag of cats at home. Jets in my pants. You haven't, uh, you haven't. <laughs> they make the B2 bomber. Really been embarrassed until it's two in the morning and you're with somebody in bed and you both wake up because you hear this noise. <laughs> oh, God. And just, she's like, what is that noise? I'm like, don't turn on. <laughs> don't, turn, don't turn on the lights. <laughs> and I would go, like, wrestle with this cat. I mean, I've heard of condoms getting stuck in pussies before, but this is. There we go. Oh, Thanks. That's good. Let's go on. People podcast to try to segue into an ad. Read I know it's just the worst. I, I, I've been just this is, here. This is my last story right. about it. I think I talked about this on Always Open, but on Chat Roulette, what I used to do, I, I like to troll people because there were so many dicks that would show up. So, what I would do, I, I would squint really close to the camera, I would put the camera right up to my eye and it would be closed, and I would turn my head sideways so it looked like a vagina w with eyelashes. I Eyel well, because it looked like pubic hair, it worked. Go ahead. I'm not. All right. Can we get a close well, up can, on Barbara's can, eye and can, see what this looks can like? Can you describe your pubic hair? <laughs> Why don't I just tape a picture yeah. of a vagina? It works on the the camera. Because I didn't want to do that. I still lived at home. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that shit. Parents weren't supervising you doing this shit. You didn't have a desk drawer with a picture of a vagina in it. No, yeah, but you're chatting like this, Barb. How are you doing anything? Because you're chatting like this. Well, I, mean, I, I would hold the webcam like this. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Can I, I do it with would, my phone? Tilt. Can I try and make your eye look like a vag? Here, I'll yeah. Okay, hold By on. the way, Barbara, I just want to say in the future, you I want to criticize your technique here a little bit. If you're holding the webcam, you don't need to tilt your I head. I could just tilt, you the, could just tilt the, the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the lighting might get weird, though. <laughs> what? True. Then the lighting would be on one side. Just get a lamp. Okay. So are we talking about need... lighting, Gus? <laughs> How are we this deep into this? Oh, I could really get off on this vagina, yeah. but the lighting's terrible. <laughs> so, so like, okay, you turn your head. Or just take turn the camera. the camera. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'll just rotate afterwards. But, I mean, that looks like an eye. To me. Zoom in. Like, really zoom in. Okay, hold on. So, fake vaginas on the yeah. internet are not a great gift for Mother's Day, but you know what is? A bouquet <laughs> of flowers. <laughs> and then, okay, so, and then take it and flip it. Yeah, her, yeah, yeah. Her whispering eye. <laughs> One person I gotta say, models back there. I, gotta <laughs> say, I haven't been able to bitch about this because I've not been here. But I, uh, iOS 11 on my phone is such a bag of cock. I love that Gavin, it has screen recording now, so you can screen record all the Gavin, shit that goes it's wrong. it's utter garbage. What it's, you, it's, it's turned it's my phone garbage. into an actual piece of it's shit. It's a piece of shit. And I, I know I can't get an Android, but I really want one. My favorite thing now my own personal is one, so. how Control Center, if you turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that doesn't turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. See? You can show I, I'm not buying it. Uh, do you have a camera? I think if you, I think if you get on the internet, you want to see vagina. It's because gonna, of the eyelid crease. It, no, it's the black. I'm also it's, wearing fake lashes, so it adds a yeah. lot more. And I wasn't wearing. It wasn't that close up. You have to have the crease. Sorry. Okay. So that's there's a bit of like. No, I blade. can buy it. I can buy it. Yeah. Yeah, but I that's a it. lot of black. She's, she's got the eyelashes. You got I'm, wearing, I'm wearing eyeliner. And, thank you. Yeah. No, I can buy it. I believe you now. <laughs> on your eye for the <laughs> pussy fur. <photo. laughs> do you think th that's got to be someone's fetish, right? What's that? Fake Eyes that look like vaginas? I'm oh, sure. I wonder if you should do a makeup tutorial that makes the perfect vag on its side, but it, it's literally just for that purpose. That could be my next YouTube video. Uh, what? I don't. I'm coming something. up with ideas. I'm just tired of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm over. I'm over it at this point. This had a pop. Like they're just like you come over, and we'll take care of everything. You even, you what does that even, mean? I don't know. You don't even have to like instigate anything. You walk in. They're already naked. They get you naked. You just have to lay there. They. <laughs> Well, okay. But what are their, okay. I well, know what their Harrington, expectations are. Kit wait, Harrington wait. sucking on your nipples. How do you like that? <laughs> well, that is the thing. It's like, I think you kind of have to roll with it. Like, I'm a straight man, but if I went to go have sex with a couple and other stuff happened in the moment, yeah, I think I'd probably roll with it depending upon what it was. Yeah. But like, I might just roll with it. What I'm trying to say is like, <laughs> if the dude, if the dude was doing stuff to me, like if he was, you know, performing cunnilingus on me, I'd be like, all right, whatever, I'll close my eyes. Is it cunnilingus? It's not cunnilingus? <laughs> Do you have a vagina? I guess not. No, it's uh, um, a fellatio. A fellatio, excuse me. Because I'm doing the cunnilingus with the wife. What I'm saying is, like, if he was doing that to me, I'd close my eyes. That's not gay. It's fine. 
And so <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And it's cool. I've rolled. He have like it. a big. Does it have a huge beard? Okay, wait. It's. It w- I don't know how that would feel. It is gay and it's fine. You don't say yes. it's not gay and it's fine. It's both fine. Yes, I'm sorry. It's 2017. <laughs> I hate to fucking offend anybody. I, t- I, I said to, I wasn't going I to. I always hate to fucking offend people. Thank you for clarifying. But yeah, I'd probably fuck a dude and his wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> In the same room. Nobody's gonna know. We're gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna know for sure. You're gonna I'd know. know. Yeah. I'd ask for pictures. Yeah. That'd be fun. So if, you've, if you're making out with this wife or this girl, and then all of a sudden you feel a little tickle on your little Tyler. Not your little Tyler. I'm already your there. Tyler I'm already there. You, the implication. Is already there. So Would you just okay be you? eyes closed the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> eyes closed. Not seeing, not seeing, not seeing. I'd be okay with it. I mean, as long as I get to do stuff with the wife, then I'm fine. Okay. Because that's my bread and what butter. What if? Writer stuff. Mm. And so it'd be something like sappy and sad like that. Like something from Ed Sheeran or something. You don't know you're going to die, though. You don't have to make it super depressing. No, I'm not saying you, make it no, like, if you know you're gonna die. You know you're. I mean, gonna if die. You, yeah, the you know, scenario like, is you depressing. know you're gonna die, you don't know you're gonna die though. On a play, Le- would you go along with the fucking hypothetical? Play in his space. It's a it's a hypothetical game. This is supposed to be fun, and you're dragging it down. Yes, and okay. What do you mean? He said Stacy's mom. That's fun. He did answer. I know, but he's trying to say we well, don't know you're. Gonna <laughs> he did die. answer. No, you're gonna. You're yeah, gonna yeah. die. Okay. Um, you're gonna die. Okay. You um, are gonna die. Fair enough. No, I get. I get your point. I get your point. You're gonna die no matter what. Last thing, Stacy's mom. Theme song to Ducktales. That's good. So it's yeah. what you would want to hear, <laughs> not get like stuck in your head. The thing that would pop in my <laughs> you know, head. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You dumb nuts. Yeah, you want to get idiot. You want to get stuck. You want to. You, you want Stacy's hey, mom man, stuck in your head. You want to get your your balls hit by somebody. What? No. <laughs> what? Right. You're gonna die. So what does it matter? You still don't want to get your balls hit. Wait, so it's you it's don't want to get a song stuck in your head, what? even though you're gonna die. How? I don't even know where to start to unpack what you just no, said. No, it completely makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> even though you're going to die, it doesn't mean you want something unpleasant to happen to you. You saying DuckTales theme song is unpleasant? I'm just saying it could get stuck in your head and you're like, ah, oh, I can't get that For in my head. how long? <laughs> you, you have got- minutes, not even minutes. You, you, have, you have one song, the length of one song. Give it like three to four minutes. So Duck no Tales like, like Stairway to Heaven. seconds long. How long no, there's Stairway a to Heaven would be song. a good song though. Just realize that. That'd be great. The DuckTales song? The story Fine. Of heaven. Singing oh, in the rain. Heaven. How about that? Is that better? Not better or worse? It's your song, dude. You have to be that. <laughs> Count off have to prove it. So you're listening to Stacy's mom, and somebody's hitting you in the balls. That's how you're going out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. You're going to. In this scenario, you are dying. Hey, Mariel, what's your song? Uh, I was thinking. I would hope something calming like Enya would come on. Ooh. Who can say <laughs> Wait, what? Like, free that's falling. Good one. What about something uh, literal? Like, let the bodies <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. I might be more into it if it was that. That's pretty uh, good. Speaking of free falling, though, and going back to ACL, did you see, I think it was, sad, maybe maybe we wouldn't have seen it, but um, they played um, Tom Petty's free falling on all of the screens because there wasn't a concert at that time, and um, they had skydivers come out and, and jump what? to it. And Man, it was I should have really gone cool. Saturday. That's badass. They were doing tricks and stuff. That's super cool. It was really nice. Because people were singing along, and then these people were literally free falling. <laughs> Did you break Tyler's it? having a hard time with his microphone. <laughs> Did you break it? Um, there we go. <laughs> perfect. Wait, I have a question. And Ask since we're the question. T- talking about hypotheticals, this is a question that um, there's a set of questions that the live action guys have asked me on different shoots and stuff. One of them is, if you could have a business on the moon, what would it be? Moon shoes, easy. <laughs> People need shoes. Protect against the rocks. Yeah. Moon shoes. Yeah. Okay. No, no, think about it. I'm trying. I'm really Look, trying, man, Brandon. I'm trying to get there. They can't bring infinite shoes with them to the moon. You got like two pairs of shoes max. So where how are you making these shoes? I don't know. I have a business. I'm sure there's something. She's importing them from you Earth. Are so quick to that. I would have a movie theater. A movie, a movie theater on the Watching moon. a movie okay. on the moon. Oh. All right, well, you're done, Muriel. I can juggle. That's my stupid little talent. <laughs> no, That's what yeah, I always yeah, say. Yeah, a lot of time is up. Uh, no. You, you can juggle? Really. I don't I can have juggle. any talents. I'm pretty talentless. I learned how to juggle. Can you juggle those cans? I totally could. Do it. Do it. How many? Do the bottles. Four? Three. 
Three. Three's not juggling. Anybody can three juggle is? three of anything. I can't juggle three of anything. Okay, then you juggle three cans and show me that it's nothing. All right. Let's do this. Oh, God. Is Brandon going to juggle three cans? Move the mic. Give time for the camera to get set up with this shit. Let's, I want Brandon's got to go first to show right. me how easy it is. I'm scared. Well, there's... I got the cans Brandon. add complexity. Oh, uh, oh the okay, cans, okay. The, oh, the cans, cans are the weight oh, of the I cans. I didn't know. And I, I didn't, didn't know. wear my right know. shoes. I left my moon shoes at home. <laughs> the, 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 the elements are just wrong. Show me how easy it is. Fucking put up. Right. Show me how easy None it up, is. Nut up, baby. All right. Let's do this. You're going to break your goddamn computer. <laughs> I'm going to shut this. <laughs> the hat was the problem. The issue here. All right, we're ready. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> look, you did right. make it look really look, easy. Look, look. If it was juggle three balls, I can juggle three balls. Okay. okay. You just said. I think at some point you said anybody can juggle three of anything. I think you did actually just say that. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very, very wrong. Thank you for admitting that. Okay, Thank John. I'll absolutely admit it. There's now, video now I'm gonna choke. It. Now I'm gonna choke. Sitting is also hard. Uh, no, 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 Pattern of the cascade is like one going over the other in the same pattern over and over again. Just getting that, and then it's just muscle memory at that point. Okay. That's all, because it's everything. Everything is going. There's two circles basically happening just over and over again, and that's all it is with oh, three yeah, time three balls. You juggled circle. knives. Time is it, yeah. I did do knives actually. I didn't graduate to like real knives. I had practice ones. Did you go to clown school? Huh? Do you go to clown no. School? Um, used to do uh, musical theater a uh, lot lot more when I was younger, and uh, there was a production of Barnum happening um, that, in fact, my dad was directing it. And um, I was too young to be in the production, but everybody in the production had to learn how to juggle just because it was a big part of it. And so I decided to learn, and I got really good at it, and for some reason kept going <laughs> It's really good. You're also a great piano player. I've heard you play before. I love it. Oh, I do play piano. There's, there's my little That is something that will mesmerize me. I love seeing people do that. If I play the piano for you, would you then let me cuddle you? Yeah, sure. <gasps> There you go. There's the key. Well, we have to take pictures though, so people know it happened. Yeah, okay. Because that's the that. only way I'll people know if you're real, if you have pictures. What?